Today I'm going to show you how to SSH into your iPod Touch. As of now, I'm on firmware 2.2.1, and SSH is being able to hack into your iPod file system and modify files, copy them, move them around, add them, whatever you want. And this is useful for getting NES, NES ROMs, GBA ROMs, uh, themes for Winterboard, all kinds of themes, and ability to um, do anything you want, basically. Alright, so first things first, you need a jailbroken iPod, and if you don't know how to do that, look at my other videos, otherwise, open Cydia. Okay, and it should be in the featured packages, right there, or you can search for it, it's called Open SSH. I'll have it in the description. Alright, so featured is ready, keep on scrolling down, it's at the bottom, it's called Open SSH, there you go, it's in the console utilities and daemons, it's like Open SSH Secure Shell, click on that. Alright, it says secure remote access between machines. Yep. Okay. And then click on install. Bring this up. Open SSH. Confirm. Let it do its thing. And then return to Cydia. It takes a lot of batteries. So, a way to toggle SSH on and off is to get boss press. And that's also in the featured packages. The very first one, basically. Boss press. More control. So if you want to, I already have it. Install that. And then, go back to the... Okay, so once you finish installing Boss Press and you're on your home page, you can toggle it SSH by going into Boss Press. I'm only going to show you half the page because the bottom half shows my personal email and I don't want that. Alright, so once in SSH, you can toggle the program via SSH by pressing on and then off all that stuff alright so once you know that that way you can save batteries when you're not connected to SSH okay now press the home button alright so now that you have SSH you also need it on your computer and SFTP or FTP client alright guys sorry about that I just had a phone call but I'm back now okay so you need to get a SCP, SFTP client for your computer and one that I recommend is WinSCP others are called uh, Qt FTP, FTD Pro stuff like that but um, first you need to turn off and turn on your iPod so reboot your iPod for SSH to actually take effect So it's going to turn off, and then turn it back on. Alright. So in the meantime, let's go look at some S S F T P clients. Alright. So on your computer, I recommend WinSCP. Alright. WinSCP. I'll have the link in the description box. And then once you're on the web page, click on download. The, f the newest version, 4.1.8 as of right now. And then click on installation package. Okay, it's going to bring you to a sourceforge.net website and then this little thing will pop up and click on save file. I already have this saved and installed. Once you have it saved, open that uh, file and then 
run the program and download WinSCP onto your computer. Okay, so my iPod is turned back on, and now what you can do is connect to WinSCP. And up here uh, on your computer, once you have WinSCP installed, you should have that icon. Click on that. Okay. Now I ask for host name, username, and password. The host name is your IP address. You can get that in on your iPod in the settings. So you need to find the host name and that is in your IP address, whatever Wi Fi you're connected to. Alright. And whichever one needs check mark and the blue button with the arrow to the right, click on the button. Alright, and then your IP address is right there, and it should be something like 192.168.1, whatever. So, put that number into the hostname box. Okay, once you have that in, port number, don't do anything to that, minus 22. And then, now we're at the username. Username should be root, R-O-O-T. Okay, and then password is Alpine. A L P I N E. Don't worry, I'll have the uh, spellings and these words, username, password, all that stuff, in the description. All right, and then down in file protocol, SFTP. Check that box off, and then click log in. All right, it's going to search for host. Oh wait into a security breach and then what you have to do right now is go to your iPod press the home button open up boss press alright and then toggle SSH on and off Alright, once you finish doing that, reboot your iPod straight from here. So go like that, slide the power off. Okay, alright, it's off. Turn it back on again. Alright, now let's see. And make sure your computer's uh, internet is connected with the same one as your iPod. So make sure your Wi Fi on your iPod is the same as your computer. They have to match up. Alright, my iPod's back on. Now what you click is click on update. And then authentication failed, click reconnect. Alright, there we go. We're into the uh files. There you go. There's library media on the side. So the the very beginning is root. Root, you have applications, all these files, all these things. So go up and down, boot, developer, private, system. So these are the system files and this is how you SSH. We have successfully SSH into our iPod. Um, whenever I have new videos, now I can say SSH into your iPod. And then we'll come in here, go into, uh, let's say private. Usually it's private, var, and then mobile. And then you can have media, applications, media, you can have all these photos, all this stuff. So there you go. And to exit out of SSH, all I have to do is click the X button. Alright, and then when I remove, just click OK. And there you go. And when not in use, remember, always go into Boss Press and toggle SSH to off. That way you can save battery and use your iPod for fun things like games and music longer. Alright, so there you have it. Hope this video helped you. Please subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and rate this a 5-star video.
Thank you very much.